you ever seen this person before? Detectives Greg Wilson and Mike Rodriguez are back in Brooklyn investigating a vicious suspected anti-Semitic crime. Do you know it's like a, a homeless guy hanging out in the area? A man caught on camera at this Crown Heights corner lunging at a Jewish woman before sucker punching the 21-year-old as she walks by. Were you able to get that video? Fix 11 got a rare inside look at the increasingly busy NYPD hate crimes unit. Today, they're canvassing Kingston Avenue for evidence and witnesses. They might recognize them from the neighborhood. The veteran cops are two of two dozen detectives working for the task force, which saw a sudden surge in bias crimes last year. The majority of cases, 52% were anti-Semitic crimes. Time and time again, we witnessed horrifying attacks, beatings, and vandalism against Jewish people. A hate crime has to go up to the highest levels of the police department. Deputy Inspector Mark Molinari oversees all hate-based investigations. He also saw more attacks against black and gay communities as well. Molinari says all signs pointed to politics. Which month was it that you saw it start to go up? Um, probably September would be the beginning of it. Those four months, September, October, November, December, we, we saw the increase. Anything that was going on nationally that may have precipitated that? It, it was part of the election cycle. At the same time, crimes against Muslims fell nearly 50%. Evan Bernstein heads up the local Anti-Defamation League office. Both organizations work hand in hand while also keeping close tabs on 71 hate groups in the tri-state. Many have largely gone underground and online since Charlottesville. Bernstein credits the outreach efforts by the NYPD and community policing approach for stemming the tide of hate that peaked in the 90s. There's been a lot of progress in Brooklyn since the Crown Heights riots, a lot of progress, but clearly there needs to be even more dialogue. He says it starts in school. Now more than ever, it's important that we get anti-bias training uh, into schools, that we train children from a very early age. People are outraged. Communities are completely outraged by these crimes. And it's this dedicated team, one of the oldest and unique units in the country, that's called on to defend New Yorkers and denounce hate in all its forms. Appreciate the help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, sir. Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. All right, so we checked with the NYPD, and in the first month of 2019, hate crime cases in the city, they are up a staggering 78% from last wow. year. Eye-opening. Absolutely.